When playing the part of Philip, I learned more about each of the disciples and their relationships with Jesus. Leonardo da Vinci's portrayal now has a deeper meaning to me than just the painting. Being a part of the Last Supper and playing two different disciples has helped me to understand um, the role that each disciple served in Jesus' life, uh, kind of leading up to Easter and understanding the season and what comes from it and understanding kind of the individual disciples better than just rather a large group of disciples, but how they serve Jesus and um, how they're remembered in the Bible um, has kind of been the biggest thing for, for me just learning more about um, not just what the Last Supper was, but about each person who attended. Hello all, my name is Craig White. I was asked why I participate in the Last Supper and what it means to me. Um, that's actually a very simple question, and it comes with a simple answer. Um, when I was originally asked to participate, it took me all of five seconds to say yes. That really surprised me as well as my wife, but I have always wanted to support the church I attend on a much larger scale than what I do, and unfortunately my schedule just doesn't allow for the commitment that I need uh, to do that. But this is a great opportunity for me to support our church, um, but also um, to portray Thomas in this case, um, who seems to be very much like myself, period. After doing this for a few years, I've realized that Thomas was very dedicated to his church, he was very dedicated to Jesus, and he had that side of him that needed that that proof. You know, as everyone knows, Thomas is known as the doubter, um, but he needed that, that proof, that ultimate closure piece, and I feel like I'm the same way. I'm dedicated, but I would sure like to have that proof, as I'm sure everyone hearing this would do. So, Long story longer, um, I do this because I enjoy doing it, and I look forward to doing it every year. It means a lot to me, and it helps me feel like I'm supporting the church I attend. Being a part of the Last Supper portrayal has truly made this story about Jesus and his final days on earth come to life for me. I've stepped into the character of John, who is remembered for his very close relationship to Jesus. He is with Jesus during his final hours. He is the only disciple present at the crucifixion, and he literally runs to the tomb on Easter morning. During their final meal, John is sitting right next to Jesus. So when I take that place, right next to my Lord and Savior, I get goosebumps. Plain John reminds me of the deep and personal relationship Jesus has with me. He is by my side day and night and loves me immensely. Yet during our portrayal, the seat is empty, allowing for one's own interpretation, but also reminding me of the times I fail to acknowledge Jesus and invite him into everyday parts of my life. The disciple John has taught me to confess my shortcomings and to continue to draw near to Jesus. I strive to have a personal relationship with Jesus like that of John. Yeah, as far as being in the Last Supper, what it means to me is, is for me, the week leading up to and the day of Easter are the most spiritual days of the year. So by being in the Last Supper, it puts me in a spiritual place that gets me through the year until, the, until we do the Last Supper next year again. The Last Supper portrayal I first saw 30 plus years ago. It's such an emotional time. Every year, a different disciple, something that they say speaks to me. It's what I need to hear at that time. So though this has been going on 
over 50 years. People still love it because of that, speaking to us when we need to hear these words.